The number you have dialed has been changed. All right, folks, Pie Guy here. I'm going to show you how to install AdGuard Home on a Raspberry Pi. Now, we can install this on other different operating systems, but uh, I'm just going to install it on the latest uh, version of uh, Raspbian. And uh, I'll throw a link in the description to my website for everything you need, but it's pretty straightforward. The only thing we really need to do is to update and make sure we have wget installed. Which should be. And there we go. And I already did an update. So all we need to do is download it. Now we're going to change the V6 to a V7. Depending on what uh, Pi you're using. So we're going to go with that for mine. And we're just going to let that download. And we just need to open it up here. And like I said, we're just going to replace the 6 with the 7. And there we go. Now that that's that we can go ahead and cd into it and we'll clear that again and we could just do a sudo period forward slash dash s install and it has been installed here is the information that we need it's port 3000. All right, so now that it's installed, one thing we need to do is go to the 3000 port. So for me, 10.1.2.136 and port 3000, and we should get this page here. So we'll just click get started, and we can select what interface to listen on so we could just do our ethernet connection and we'll do our ethernet down here and where it's going to ask for a username and password then once that's done it'll show you here some more information and you can click on any of these to set it up but we'll just click next and go to that. So we'll just go ahead and log back in. Now that we are in, here's the dashboard. So if you're kind of familiar with uh, Pi-hole, this should look somewhat similar. And we have our different settings here that we can put in. and so forth then we have all this now the next thing we need to do is set this up on your router so as you can see here on my router we can replace the uh, secondary DNS with the address of the Pi that we just got done setting up and whatever your other uh, DNS may be. Now, if you're running Pi-hole and you also want to run the Ad Guard, we can set it up as a secondary or a primary, whatever you feel. Then just save the uh, configuration on whatever router you may be using. And uh, that's pretty much it on the basic setup on how to get Ad Guard working on your Raspberry Pi. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.